For detecting whether an object is an array or not, we have a handful of methods we can use. One approach is by using the isArray method. So let's take a look at how that works. So I'm going to create my array first. I'm going to create it called, let me call it numbers. And it's going to, as you can imagine, have a collection of numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now I could have started with five. I didn't have to go to 10, but you know, YOLO. Okay, so we have numbers. And now I want to check if this is an array. So I'm going to go ahead and do console.log and I'm going to call array.isArray. Notice that this lives off the array object itself. And then just type in the name of the array we're trying to check for. So if I refresh this page, you'll now see the value true comes up because numbers is in fact an array. Now let me just create something called not array equals an empty object. So this is clearly not an array. And let's go ahead and see if this works out and gives us a value of false. So now calling array.isArray on our not array object. So let's refresh this page. And as expected, you get to see the word false. Now, there is another approach you can do, and that is by checking the constructor property and see if it's an array or not. So I'm going to clear all this out, and we're back to our numbers array as earlier. And so the first thing I'm going to do is console.log is numbers.constructor. This is the handy constructor property that many of our objects have, equals array. And so if I were to check this out, the value of true will be returned if this is in fact an array. And yes, you can see that true has in fact been installed. And just as to think of before, let's do the opposite of it, where we know we're getting a wrong value. We're going to name object variable called Homer Simpson. It's tied to a, a string. And so I'm going to cause a log this one, name.constructor equals equals array. And in this case, it should be false, correct? And you're right, it is false. The first one is true because it is numbers as an array. Second one is false because the name is a string. It's text, not an array. So that's a pretty handy way of being able to check whether you're dealing with an array or not and checking if an object is an array or not either. And so if you need any help, post in the forums at forum.crypto.com where I and others would be happy to help you out. If you like this video, tell your friends and enemies all about it. There's a book edition of all these cool array tricks that contains not just this particular trick, but a bunch of other in-depth articles on how to work with arrays best. So check it out in paperback and Kindle editions. Hit subscribe to be notified of new videos and follow me at Krupa, wherever people like me live. All right, see you all later.